Five years have passed since the crisis in Syria began. The Syrian government and its supporters continue to resist the move maneuvers of Western powers. With more now, here's our correspondent Hazem Abdullah. Damascus has welcomed many international delegations, including politicians and members of the European Parliament. In its attempt to find a political solution to the crisis in Syria, the most recent was a French delegation. I'd like to thank the uh, Syrian government. I want to thank the Syrian and the Syrian parliament for welcoming me here. Second, I, I know, I imagine there are uh, some kind of disinformation coming to Western Europe and accident in general. أعتقد أن هناك بعض التضليل يأتي ويصلنا إلى أوروبا والغرب بشكل عام. About what's happening here in Syria. In parallel with these political initiatives, military operations continue in several fronts. The Syrian armed forces say that army units have made progress on many fronts, especially in Zabadani in the western border area with Lebanon. We hope. That God protects the Syrian army who defends us and these Syrian lands. The army is sacrificing itself for us and we pray for its victory over the enemies who want to destroy Syria. On the streets, many Syrians believe in their army and its determination to resist. They continue to hope for the miracle that would put an end to the terrorism which destroys what is left of their dreams. Hazm Abdullah. Tilisur, Damascus, Syria.